So here I am with day seven of my 12 day series showing you recipes from the complete air fryer cookbook that were made in the Philips air fryer to see if they're compatible with the Ninja Jewel. Ninja Jewel is the latest air fryer to join the recipe this family and we're so pleased to have it and we've fallen head over heels in love with it. And today's recipe is for canned chickpeas. Canned chickpeas drained with some oil and your favourite seasoning mixed in a bowl are absolutely amazing in the air fryer. They're crispy, they're yummy and they're the perfect snack and also perfect for if you jump back on Slimming World or Weight Watchers this week and you're looking for something simple that you can snack on now that you've run out of your Christmas chocolate. But first what we need to do is we need to drain the chickpeas and then we can get going with this recipe. So we have ch drained chickpeas, thanks to the lovely husband, Dom. And then let me show you, this is the air fry temperature test that we recommend that you do, that's in the complete air fry cookbook. We recommend uh, following a few simple air fryer recipes and check to see if the time and temp is the same for your air fry compared to some others. And this is the curry chickpeas, which as you can see is paid um, 124 so we're just going to head to page 124 and I can check out the recipe with you oh fish in the air fryer absolutely brilliant sorry I'm getting sidetracked halloumi yep another favorite of ours it's in the vegetarian chat which I'm in now oh mushrooms strong enough I don't even like mushrooms and I think this is genius our vegan burrito bowls there oh yes I'm here uh, crispy curry chickpeas. These were just a last minute add on to the cookbook because I just love them. And what you do is you drain your chickpeas, then you season them with whatever you want. So I've chosen some uh, Caribbean curry powder I've got and some salt and pepper, some oil, and then you air fry them. So for air fryer time, we're looking about seven minutes for crispy ones. So it'd be interesting to see how they perform using the Ninja compared to using them in other air fryers. Of course, I'm going to be using the air fryer button again, but it's totally your own preference. So the cookbook to one side for now. And then there's your bowl of your chickpeas. They've been drained and they're ready now. So quick splash with some olive oil. So if you are on Weight Watchers or Slimming World, uh, then to make this full portion, about two teaspoons to a tablespoon is fine. So it's very low on the points or the sins. And then you want to add in some salt, some pepper. And then what I'm actually using here is I'm using some m and Caribbean curry powder, but you can use whatever you want. In the cookbook, we've got paprika and curry powder. You can use garam masala, whichever one you want. Uh, just add a decent quantity and then mix it with your hands. So your chickpeas are like this and they're just absolutely amazing in the air fryer. Just gonna give my hands a quick wash. And that, the different curry powders, they've got m and at the moment are absolutely delicious. I'm kind of falling in love with their seasonings. I'm sure they think I'm a bit weird because I'm going to M&S and I literally will fill a basket just on the herbs and spices that they sell. So then spread them out like that in the air fryer. And then let's get it on. So you're looking for the air fryer button and you're looking for a temperature of 190 Celsius and then a cook time of seven minutes, and then we can check on them and see how they're doing. And we've beeped. So let's check on these chickpeas, shall we? And this is what the chickpeas look like so far. So I like them a bit crispier, so I'm just gonna add some extra virgin olive oil spray. And this is all about how you adjust um, when you cook in using a different air fryer. This is the first time I've really felt like this one hasn't been as good. So I'm just going to give it two more minutes at 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit. Oh, wow. This from them is absolutely amazing. I mean, just check those out. Don't they look fantastic? 
And that is what chickpeas are like when they're cooked in the air fryer and they just go so crispy and yummy. Don't forget to check out the complete air fryer cookbook made from 10 years of air frying experience with lots and lots of air fry beginner recipes. 140 recipes are included and they're just so easy to follow with plenty of step-by-step -step instructions for all the key recipes so that you can become a master of your air fry. I know you'll love it and it's just £10 on Amazon watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as well as following us on Pinterest and Facebook and joining our Facebook group. We are also on TikTok now so don't forget to follow us at TikTok forward slash recipethis.